hey guys what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel so we are gonna do a little lingerie try on haul but i also wanted to answer this question that was left in one of my videos so the question was and i did pull it up on my ipad because i always always forget <laughs> but the question is i thought customers could record in vip i'm not sure though and since there's no cameras isn't it a bit dangerous for dancers to be alone with a stranger in a closed room question mark just honest questions so to answer that question for you and i will pull it up in the screen right now to answer that question um i thought customers could be could record in the vip no you cannot record in the vip rooms you can't even pull out your phone inside the club once security checks you they will go over the rules and explain that to the customers just so they won't end up saying you know i thought we re could record in here um but yes they make that very clear that they are no cameras and if you are caught with the camera the bouncers will literally peep you go up to you and snatch that out of your hand like, because they've told the customers you know so yes no you cannot record and then the second question was and st since there's no cameras isn't it a bit dangerous for the dancers to be alone with a stranger in a closed room so it's Honestly, it's a cold world. It really is. It's a cold world, but you have to be on it. And this is why I always tell um, you guys in every video, you have to be careful working as a dancer. You have to always be on it, um, getting inside of your car, getting outside and throughout your whole shift. But my club, it is no contact. And the customers that do come in, they are gentlemen, you know, suit like. So they don't really get out of pocket or out of character. But if they do, you can just get out of the room and just tell the bouncer, like, look, he's being, like, too touchy or too this and that, too disrespectful, and they will escort him out. But, yeah. So, the lipstick combo I want to share with you guys, just, you know, for future reference, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but the lipstick combo, the lip liner is actually the Kylie Jenner in the color... Oh, my gosh, it's not even on here. <gasps> I'm not even sure what color this is but the lipstick is in the shade exposed and I just mix them up that is super cute I've been loving this combo so that's what I've been wearing then also shout out to my supporter um, she actually auditioned at my club and I didn't know who she was at the moment until she seen me and it was like a one-on-one -on -one situation in the back room and she just turns around she's like are you Jennifer and I just kind of turn around like yeah because nobody knows me as jennifer at the clubs they know me as only my stage name and i don't really go around telling people i do youtube um unless they figure it out on their own so yeah so i was kind of like shook because i don't really there has been situations where girls or customers or guys like mostly girls but they will come up to me and be like are you jennifer is your name jennifer like but they kind of like they didn't do it how she did it sorry if the camera's kind of crooked but like i was saying some girls do come up to me at my clubs and be like are you jennifer like is your name jennifer and just the way that they say it gives me weird vibes and i just don't like that but the way that she came up to me was honestly very genuine genuinely showing her support you can tell like she was excited to meet me which i honestly do really appreciate it and just you know gassing me up in the middle of my shift <laughs> she was just like oh my god like i watch all your videos you and christina viega are like my favorites and she just offered to give me a hug she was super excited it made me feel like your girl's doing something you know but yeah if you guys try out at my club or if you guys you know come to my club definitely tell me that you know like i'm your supporter or something because if you just tell me oh your name is jennifer i kind of feel like disrespected because you're not telling me how you know my name you're just making up either these stories or you're just like your name's jennifer oh and it's kind of making me feel like uh you know what i'm saying she basically just told me like i was the reason why she even came into my club and just had the courage so yeah that made me feel really good but yeah definitely let me know whenever you guys come to my club and i will give you guys my tips <laughs> but um yes girl i wish 
nothing but success for her and if you are watching this video thank you so much for your support i also wanted to show you guys look i also got these items from burning love if you guys smoke but this is what i bought it says cherry bomb yes and once you open it isn't it so pretty it's a cherry pipe i have yet to use it because i didn't want it all dirty um because i really wanted to show you guys how it came super cute i believe it was like 35 dollars but it is like the size of my hand super super cute it has two bowls right here and then i hope i don't get like demonetized but yeah so that's that and then i also have this little grinder that came in here super cute okay it also came in like a little baggy so it won't get like scratched up because i did get a grinder and it is the perfect size look the size of like my hand it says bad bitch okay and i kind of already used it <laughs> but yeah it was very much needed because i hate breaking down I do want to give a shout out to Miss Angie Ramirez. Girl, I always see you supporting and I appreciate it very, very much. So shout out to you. I see you, boo. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and jump into the lingerie try-on haul. Okay, guys. So the first outfit that I'm going to try on, it is this cute pink bodysuit. I believe I got it at Discovery. And you could either wear this like with a skirt or because at my club you do have to cover your behind. But I have never worn this to be honest. <laughs> but I thought I'd try it on for you guys right now. So if you want to see how this looks then boom! Okay so the next one it is this black bodysuit. And it has a little purple on it and on the sides and on kind of like the back these it has like fishnet wise I have never worn this like I said, but you know, maybe one day I will I just always wear like the same things I feel like every dancer has that outfit or two that you just wear because it makes you feel more comfortable in So yes, I will try this on for you guys and show you guys right now okay so the last piece it is this dress right here you are allowed to wear dresses you guys so yes it is this black dress right here it does have this little scrunchie on the side i wish i had it in the back so i could make your booty look good or like better but yeah but you can um tie it up a little bit so it could go like a little bit more up so you could show a little bit of thighs you know what i'm saying but yes yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and try this one on right now so i also wanted to share this comment with you guys <laughs> but okay so he said I'm not hated on you, but $500 for the VIP is like lighting your money on fire. Some guys are brain dead. Like. So I do get where you're coming from, kind of. Um, $500 is a lot of money to some people. But, you know, some people do got it like that. And, you know, the customers that my club attracts are wealthy, you know, for the most part and five hundred dollars really is nothing to them they double that as our tip you know sometimes so obviously i just feel like let people have fun you know if that's a lot of money to you i mean that's don't spend that much money you know at a club okay so another question is um i only work three days a week question mark exclamation point yes i do only work three days a week but um i have only been working about two days it just really depends but for the most part it is two or three days max but yes that is how many days i work well, okay so here's a really good one 
So someone said, hi, Jennifer, I know you are super smart. After you reach your financial goals, what else would you like to get into? Own your own business, real estate, etc. Keep being the best mom you can be. God bless you and your child. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Um, so I don't really have a financial goal to reach. Um, I'm basically just trying to stack up all my money right now. I did see like this meme um, that someone said that they, they're trying to reach this certain goal by the end of the year. And I was just like, F it. Like, I'm in on it. You know, I'm down. So I kind of just screenshotted it. And I was like, all right, this is the goal, which is a realistic goal. I'm going to say that. And I do have money saved up. But I don't know if I should tell you guys what I'm planning on doing with my money. The only people that really do know is my family, of course and probably like my very close friends oh and the new dancer that um i was telling you guys about i'm not gonna tell you guys her name but we're gonna call her sam okay so yes i did tell sam what i was planning on doing so yeah girl keep that a secret <laughs> but um i will tell you guys in a later video i just want everything to be set in stone and perfect before i let it out for you guys but i will be filming the whole process so definitely stay tuned for that because yes it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good one so i also wanted to share with you guys these whitening strips i got at walmart and they're super super good they have been whitening whitening my teeth even more so yes if you guys are looking into something like that definitely check out walmart they have it for the low ski but i think that's pretty much it for the questions right now you guys it is getting pretty late it is 106 right now i do have to wake up pretty early tomorrow um but yes so thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.